Hello, I'm Scott Leadingham. Thank you for joining us here in the unique Northwest. I'm with Esme Jimenez, who's been covering issues of housing shortages in central Washington's Yakima Valley. Esme? I feel like in the news, you've been seeing that housing shortages are impacting cities like Portland and Seattle, sometimes even BC, but it's also happening here in central Washington. Rural communities are being hit by this housing shortage. So actually Yakima County itself has the second lowest vacancy rate in the entire state. And here, that also means that it impacts farm workers. Specifically, we're seeing that Yakima is trying to house H-2A temporary workers. And what's happening is that some farmers are starting to buy apartment complexes to house their own workers. But that means that it could technically displace other farm workers that are local and that work there year round. So we're seeing this um, really impact the way that the county is going to be thinking about housing and the way they're going to be thinking about labor. So we're seeing labor shortages and a housing shortage on top of each other. And it's really making the community reflect on how they want to be adjusting local laws and what they could do to actually make sure that they house people who live there year round, but they also get all the fruit picked um, during the season, especially right now with cherry harvest taking place. And real quickly, the Fairbridge uh, Hotel has been converted into farm worker housing. That is accepting new residents already? Yes, so we already have the first HRA workers coming in this month. It can house up to 800 of them, um, and they will be working on the cherry harvest in Yakima County. You can read more about those issues going on in Central Washington at nwpb.org, or join us every Friday at noon on Facebook, where we discuss news here in the unique Northwest.